Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to talk about my juice cleanse and how it went. I did document each day. I did it for five days total and overall I had a really amazing experience with it and I'm just really happy that I was able to document each day. I did not document it on the fourth day and I was just doing a lot of inner work that day and I just kind of forgot to even record but each day I kind of was consistent with my energy and I will show you guys in the next few clips how it went. So it is 7.25 and I'm starting to feel kind of tired and um, just kind of like clumsy almost but I'm feeling okay otherwise um, I'm getting this like weird taste in my mouth kind of like um, it sounds weird, but like kind of like bad breath mouth. I don't know. But I was reading that it's normal and that it's just your body um, releasing toxins and getting out of, getting out all the toxins out of your body. So yeah, um, that's how I'm feeling right now. And then I'll give you guys an update how I'm feeling in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's day two of my cleanse. Um, I'm feeling really good. I have a lot of energy. Um, and it's Earth Day, so I'm gonna go outside and just soak up the sun a little bit. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys and let you know how I'm feeling. And I'm feeling really good. <laughs> and it is, um, it's 1.40. So, yeah, so I'm feeling good right now. So, it's day three of my juice cleanse. I'm feeling pretty good. I have a good amount of energy. But I've also noticed that my energy starts to deplete throughout the day. Um, I am feeling a little bit more weaker than I normally would, but I'm feeling good otherwise. Um, I'm going to start the bentonite clay and the psyllium husk, and I'm excited, but I'm also kind of nervous. But, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm just drinking my apple and strawberry juice. I know you probably haven't heard of anybody juicing strawberries, but I just, I wanted to try it. So, yeah, that's what... Um, I'm, that's where I'm at right now, and I will keep you guys updated. So it's day five of my juice cleanse, and I'm feeling really good still. My energy is really good. I can honestly probably go a few more days, but since this is my first cleanse in a long time, I think I'm just going to take it easy and end it, um, tonight, and I am just... I'm really proud of myself. I have this like overwhelming feel, feeling of gratefulness and just being really proud of myself for doing this for myself. And I can feel that my body is regenerating and healing itself and my digestion and my gut is, I know is going to do a lot better when I go to eat fruits and vegetables and um, solid foods again. But yeah, so I'm feeling good. So as you guys saw that each day my energy remained kind of uh, the same. I wasn't hungry, which I thought was really strange. I thought I was going to be starving. But I was more craving food than anything else. It wasn't a hunger crave. It was like just a craving. Like you just wanted to eat solid food. But I really just enjoyed the experience overall. And I was just really grateful for to even push myself to do that and I was very proud of myself. It was a very humbling experience and it really gave me a deeper appreciation and gratefulness for food. So it really just opened my eyes and it allowed me to do a lot more inner work and just kind of spent more time with myself because I think a lot of us kind of just get bored sometimes and you find yourself eating or snacking and it's like you're not even hungry but it's just something to do and it's kind of a distraction and I was really happy that I could use this time to just dive deeper and just sit with myself and meditate a lot more and just do a lot more inner work and I also found that meditating was so much more intense and a lot deeper than um, it usually would be for me. I sometimes would be meditating and it would feel like it would be like an outer body experience and I just felt so much more connected to the divine and 
I just really was so grateful to experience that on a deeper level. So I did explain in one of my last Instagram posts that I was starting this juice cleanse and then um, a few days in I was going to start on the psyllium husk and bentonite clay. And if you guys don't know or you guys haven't looked into it, it is supposed to remove mucoid plaque and parasites that are stuck inside of our intestines. And a lot of us have it. Almost everybody has it if you've eaten poor, poorly when you're younger, um, you've eaten fast food. So this mucousy plaque buildup gets stuck inside of our intestines when we're eating greasy, fried, unhealthy foods. And our body sometimes needs a break and juicing can definitely help with that. And, I, and I've seen a lot of people just being able to remove the mucoid plaque just by juicing alone. But after learning a little bit more about the bentonite clay and the psyllium husk and what it does, I really just wanted to give my body a chance to try it and just see how I react to it. So I started it two days into my juice cleanse and the first day wasn't bad at all. The taste does have sort of like a gritty, um, like not even like sand, it's just like a really weird texture and that comes from the clay. And the psyllium husk kind of soaks up water, you know how chia seeds kind of soak up water and expand and they kind of turn into this like jello-y kind of texture. And I also learned that you do have to drink it very fast because I also was reading that it can get stuck into your throat if you don't drink it fast enough because it does expand with water. So it is fast to just ingest it as fast as possible. I took one teaspoon of each. I think I could have taken a little bit more, but I just wanted to kind of ease my body into it and just like, introduce it into my body. So I didn't experience any mucoid plaque leaving my body the first day or even the second day. So the third day came and I made my little mixture of the bentonite clay, the psyllium husk, and water. And I took a few sips and I instantly <laughs> didn't feel good. It came right back up. I know I probably could have just drinking it, but I just wanted to listen to my body in this experience and I was just kind of being gentle with myself and just listening to my body and if something doesn't feel right, I was just gonna stop. So I only did it for a total of two days and the third day I did drink a very minuscule amount, so I don't really count that day. I think if I did continue it, I probably would have experienced um, the mucoid plaque leaving my body, but I'm definitely going to do it again. I think I, it would have been better if I would have mixed it with apple juice or one of my fresh juices that I was drinking every day. I don't know why I wouldn't have done that anyways because it would have taken away the taste a little bit and the texture. So these are the brands that I got. I don't think it really matters what brand you get, but I do know the bentonite clay, you do need to get food grade because there are different types of bentonite clay, some you use as a face mask. The food grade ones you can use as a face mask and you can ingest it. So these are the brands that I got. I don't know if you guys can see, but I will I will link them in the description so you guys can take a look for yourself. But yeah, so those are the brands that I got. I think they're really reputable brands that a lot of people are using. So back to my juice cleanse, the remainder of the days. I did feel so much more lighter and I did lose five pounds at the end of my juice cleanse I weighed myself but that's not the reason I did this cleanse I did this cleanse to kind of detox my body of all all of the heavy food that we normally eat it, it's easily digested when we're juicing because our body wasn't made to digest certain things that we're eating so sticking to mainly a fruits and veggie diet is ideal but I would not recommend anyone to do a cleanse like this to lose weight because it's a short-term weight loss and if you really want to lose weight long term you really need to implement fruits and veggies into your diet every single day but I will say that it does help you kind of get into the mindset of eating healthier foods because the gratefulness you have towards foods after your cleanse is so deep and I've realized that now my body not only craves healthy foods like fruits and veggies but I'm also just 
better at making decisions because the thought of eating again on my juice cleanse was really crazy because I you kind of have this like weird mindset that you're not going to eat again but you know you are but the minute you do eat you you have this deep appreciation for food and so now when I'm eating I don't really gravitate towards the junk food and unhealthy foods I mean I'm sure I will crave them in the future but it's helped me a lot better get into this healthier routine of just giving my body nutrients and love and listening to what it needs. So I was going to add in just a few of my juicing recipes that I had, but I just figured that I can make it in another video if you guys want to hear about it. But anyways guys, I definitely recommend you guys try this. I do also re recommend that if you do try something like this, please try to eat fruits and veggies at least a week before and a week after because your body needs to kind of reconnect and our bodies and it just helps connect your body back to fruits and veggies and it starts to put an ease on your digestion and the solid foods that we're taking in sometimes take a long time to digest so if you're eating solid foods and jump right into a juice cleanse chances are you're not going to have the best experience because your body's still going to be working to digest the food that you already have in your body so it's just nice to get a fresh start by just eating fruits and veggies. So I will definitely be doing this cleanse again soon. I don't know when, but I will definitely be doing it soon and I will share my experience with you guys. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me that you are taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And I'm just really excited to start connecting with each and every one of you. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.